idea about attributes. And here is now the graphical representation of the attribute. You see in the right side here this ellipsis, two ellipses, and the first one is with written with residence, the second one is name. So that means that the entity type or the entity set student has two attributes. One attribute named residence, the other one named name. And that means that the student is described in detail with these two attributes. Different entities of students, Max Miller, other students, can have different properties, different values in these attributes. For example, different names or different addresses. So this is the graphical representation, the entity relationship diagram. And as I told you, we can also have a textual notation, textual not notation which looks like that. We have the entity set. Here we would write student and we name the attributes and the data types of the attributes. In the graphical representation, we do not name the attribute type. We just write the attribute name, um, but in the textual notation we can also um, write the data type. I will talk about the data types later. So in this textual notation you write down all the attributes in a list and therewith you know if you read the text that the entity set with a certain name, here you type in a name, the entity set has certain attributes. If we talk about the terms, then I mentioned the attribute value. The attribute value then is one concrete entry, concrete data for an attribute. If you have a concrete entity, then you write in your register in this record of the entity concrete data. And this describes this concrete student, Max Miller, in detail. For example, here for the name, our attribute value for Max Miller is Miller. And if we design the database, then we also have to think about the range of the values, this so-called domain. And this means that we want to allow a certain number of values or a certain range of values. We might not allow to type in everything, for example for the date of birth we would not allow letters, we would only allow numbers, numbers in the form of a date. Or for the day of the week we have a range which permits only Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and so on. And it depends what you allow here. If you make it specific to the English language, for example, then you would write M-O-T-U-E-W-E-D and so on for the days of the week. Or if you have another notation, then you would allow other combinations of letters for the days of the week. Anyway, it is important to define a range of permissible values for the day of the week, for example, and you would then not allow to fill in numbers there. You would only work with these letter combinations. And sometimes you might also have no data for an attribute. Then you would give the so-called null value or with other words just nothing into the attribute. That means that the attribute does not have a value. It does not mean that the attribute is zero. Zero is different from null. If you don't know the attribute value then just fill in null if it's allowed. 
if it's not allowed you have to define a certain value maybe you then agree on a default value which means that you don't know the value but anyway null is different from zero now let's think about our example with the professor and the student in more detail we have the two entity sets the student and the professor and we might name some attributes for each entity set for example for the entity set the student name the city and the zip code where the student lives and if we write it in the textual notation then we write it like that student as the name of the entity set and in brackets here student name colon and type of the student name type here is char25 char25 means that you have 25 characters the next attribute is the city city is also of type char25 again 25 characters and the zip code is shorter that's why we have uh, only six chars the professor also has attributes two attributes room and rank and you could also write up the definition in a textual notation we do not concentrate too much on a textual notation we would like to write it in the graphical notation but first let's have a look at attributes in a relationship set the relationship set here is examines examines in the lower part of the picture here connects the professor and the students and examines means that the professor on some day on the examination day examines the student the student has to be examined by the professor and for this examination you can also write up some properties some attributes one attribute would be the grade the grade the student gets after the examination is over and the date of the examination there has to be a certain date for the examination and these two attributes describe this examination in more detail if you think about uh, the these attributes then you could also think about what's the best entity you could fix these attributes to so if you let's say fix the grade to the entity set professor would that make sense can a professor get a grade no he cannot get a grade but he would award a grade to the student but is it then characteristic for the professor no it's more characteristic maybe for the student the student would have an attribute grade if the student would have the attribute grade then the grade would describe the student in more detail this maybe makes more sense than adding the attribute grade to the professor but how about a student which is examined by many professors then you would have many grades describing the students and there you see it doesn't make sense to add the attribute grade to the student it's more a property an attribute of the examination here in our case we have the the examination event model as the relationship set the relationship set with the name examines and therefore we add the attribute grade to this examines relationship set so we add the proper attributes you can see the grade which I talked about is fixed to this relationship set examines and as well the date of the examination date of examination is not an attribute for the professor professor has many dates of examination and it describes not the person of the prof professor in detail the same uh, with adding the date of examination to the student would not make sense because um, the student also has many dates of examination when he has to 
um, go to an examination.